everyone, this is Mai with Rubato Music Therapy and today I'm going to talk about my top three benefits of music therapy with seniors. The beauty of music is that music is inherently therapeutic. When I see that a facility already has a music activity or performance in their schedule, it makes me so happy because everybody deserves access to music. But I do think that music therapists can enhance and maximize all the benefits of music way more than any performer can. Assisted living, memory care, and independent living all have different needs and performers aren't necessarily qualified to recognize and cater to those different needs. My top three benefits of music therapy with seniors that I'm going to cover in this video are combating isolation, maintaining and improving cognitive skills, and encouraging movement. Unfortunately, isolation is a problem that I see throughout my work with seniors. This isn't really the fault of anybody, it's just a byproduct of growing older. Family members move away and they can't visit as often because they're busy with their own families, peer groups dwindle in size, and as you grow older, it gets harder to go outside and meet new people. This is when music therapy comes in handy. Even though there are plenty of opportunities for the residents to interact and mingle with each other throughout the facility, music therapy can actually take those feelings of isolation and turn them into community and inclusion. This can look a number of different ways, including hand over hand assistance and playing an instrument or a drum circle where everybody gets a voice and a sound. The beauty of music therapy is that it's adaptable for all populations, so everybody gets a voice, regardless of ability. Music therapy can also be beneficial in maintaining or even improving cognitive skills in seniors. Research has shown that music therapy can actually stimulate reminiscence in seniors, which can be beneficial for those with Alzheimer's and dementia. Everyone has some sort of connection with music. Music can be the trigger to facilitate memory, conversation, and feelings of community. I've seen faces light up when they recognize a song from their childhood, and I've even seen clients that were previously nonverbal sing or hum along to a tune that they recognized. Some other ways that I've worked on cognitive skills is rewriting songs such as My Favorite Things to talk about their favorite foods, places, and colors or prompting individuals to finish song lyrics from memory, or even using color-coordinated handbells to play familiar songs. The third benefit of music therapy that I'm going to talk about today is how it encourages movement. Moving your body is important for our health throughout our entire lives, but it can get harder to incorporate as we get older. Music can be just the motivation to get us moving again. Moving your body is important for our health throughout our entire lives, but it gets harder to incorporate as we get older. Music can be just the motivation to get our bodies going again. Just a small action of hitting a drum or waving a scarf to the beat of a song can get our bodies the mobility that it needs. Even those in wheelchairs can participate because music therapy is easily adaptable to everyone's needs. We can do seated arm and leg movements, we can hit a drum in different areas to promote arm mobility. And of course, we can just get up and dance. Obviously, there are so many other benefits of music therapy that I haven't covered in this video, but these are just a couple that I wanted to highlight. If you have questions about anything that I've covered in this video, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you next time.